Hello, in this tutorial, we'll be covering the stock availability calendar. And the first thing I want to show you is the number of different ways you can navigate to the stock calendar for any particular item. Um, the first way is by going to the navigation bars on your top left screen. And at the bottom, the option is stock calendar. Selecting this will bring up your availability calendar. Um, and we will touch base on this here shortly. The next option, you can view the availability calendar on any job page. So if we navigate to an order on any product line, you see there will be a calendar column. You can select this to view the calendar with any of these particular items already populated. This will load and you can review. The next option for viewing the stock calendar is on the inventory manager page. Here by loading any item, you also have the calendar column, which you can click and it will show you the stock calendar for that particular item. Once you navigate to the main stock calendar, you will see at the top, you can select the designation for the item you are trying to view. You can also begin to type in the item you are looking for and it will generate from your inventory. Once you select the item, you can press search and you'll see the calendar will populate with the current stock numbers. By default, the main calendar shows company wide. You can view, view the ins and outs. Sorry, let me do that again. Once the calendar loads, you can see by default, it uses company wide. I can see the incoming and outgoing logistics per day to give me my stock counts for that particular month. If you have multiple locations, I can select the specific warehouses I would like to view select show warehouses and then now i can view logistics per warehouse any of these logistics you can select and it will show you the transport data for that given time range you also get pricing information on the right hand side for the item and in your right box for the particular calendar you have order information. These are all the orders that pertain to the logistics on the calendar, which will affect your stock. Shipment is gonna be your ins and outs, your logistics, your movements. You can review. The asset column will show you the current location of all assets for this particular item that relates to your stock calendar.